guys, and welcome to episode two of my Criminal Life Sim series. If you guys missed the first episode, I would definitely recommend watching that. If you're watching this live, just go check it out after. Um, it will make a lot more sense if you watch the episode before this. Um, but if you guys have not seen my Criminal Life series yet, I mean, this is my second episode, so you might not have. You might have missed it. But in this series, we have two people. We have Veronica over here, Veronica Noel, and she is a triple agent. So she is like a super villain. She went to the dark side. She's not the nicest of people, as you can see here. She's like a public enemy. She's just, she's not super nice. She's mischievous. She's evil, but she's a criminal, and that's what we're going for here. And the other guy in the household, now they're just roommates. They're not dating. They're not married. You guys were suggesting maybe this girl date the Grim Reaper or something, so that's a possibility. But the other guy in the household is Jason Bourne here. You guys came up with the name. I think it's a perfect name for this. And he is the boss. And that's like a, a mob boss. Like, he's a gangster, pretty much. So they're both criminals. They both get paid a lot to go to work. They both have very high-paying jobs. And this is their little house. Okay, she just, she's scared of the toilet, it's fine. So it's nothing too crazy. I am going to be using cheats in this series though, so if we need more money, it's not the end of the world, um, and we'll be able to do different cool things with cheats. But this is their house, we built it last episode, we've got a bedroom over here, all very dark colors, black themed, we've got some, what are these, some little objects here. We've got a, a case of money because, I mean, we're criminals, so we got a baseball bat there to, like, hit people with. <laughs> and over here, we kind of have our office area. We've got some jewels. We've got a very good computer. We've got a stack of gold, obviously, because we're criminals again. We have this crime map thing. We've got a stolen ATM. And then we have our little kitchen area here. So it's not the most beautiful extravagant house but it's good we're making we're doing well and uh i think before this episode what i wanted to do this episode now we don't have a basement yet but if a lot a lot of you guys in the last episode asked if we could build like a dungeon in the basement a jail where we will potentially down the line keep people kidnap them and keep them there i know it's mean it's mean it's fine and I thought that we'd do that this episode. So this episode, we're going to be building a secret dungeon in the basement. We're going to be building a jail. If you have any suggestions on that, I mean, I'm obviously going to be asking you guys. But before we get there, I just wanted to maybe just go take a visit. Go, go look around the neighborhood. Because if you guys don't know, I mean, these are... Oh, we can run an instant background check? I didn't even know this was a thing. <gasps> she knows Steve? She knows Steve from the other... Oh, she knows Candy Meadows. Should we run a background check on Candy Meadows? Let's do it. I want to see this girl. I want to see what Candy Meadows is up to. We're going to run a background check. I didn't even know that you could do this. Oh, it just shows you... Okay, so Candy is a romantic snob. Candy thinks aliens are cool. Okay, well, that's, that's her, so that's nice. Um, but before we build this dungeon, we're gonna travel. We can just go by ourselves. We're not gonna take Jason with us, but we're gonna go to a neighbor's house, and I'm gonna show you guys how we can steal things. Um, we have level 10 mischief in the game, which is great. So, when you go to someone's house, you can steal stuff that you like, which is pretty cool. So, let's find a good... Should we go to one apartment? We need to find a nice house to go. <gasps> Do you think that we could steal a house from our other series? The Redway family? See, I want to steal something from them, but I don't want it to be permanent. Like, I don't want to lose something in our series. So maybe we shouldn't steal it from them because I don't want to... I don't want to steal it from, like, actual them. Let's go to the sod... S sour? Sour. 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 We're gonna go to their house. We've been here. We went to Spencer Kim Lewis's last uh, episode and we stole some stuff, but we're gonna go here. Put candy in the dungeon. We could. We were thinking that maybe
maybe Jason Bourne was gonna date Candy. But if you guys would rather put Candy in the dungeon, I mean, I guess we can do that too. It's a little bit cruel, but we could do that. Okay, let's uh, knock on... Can we knock on this door? Okay, here we go. Oh, and I also have level 10 wellness now. And if you guys don't know what that means, it means that I can teleport places. So we're gonna, there's gonna be a lot that I'm gonna show you this live stream. It's gonna be pretty cool. I've never teleported before. Um, you're gonna like it. Okay, let's find something that's worth a decent amount of money to steal here. You're gonna chat? Okay, you can go chat with her. Okay, it doesn't look like this is the nicest house. Um, they don't have anything crazy expensive. Maybe, what's this? A dresser? We could steal a bookshelf. We just don't want to get caught, so we'll have to kind of go away from everybody else. Maybe we should go upstairs and do it. Oh, Veronica is evil. Okay, yeah, I, I know. I know she's evil. We made her evil. We did this on purpose. Let's steal. Can we steal this bed? What about the desk or chair? We can steal the chair. Can we steal this dresser? No. What about the shower? We can take a shower. We can't steal it, though. Oh, there's a teddy bear. What about the bed? Come on, steal stuff. Let's steal this chair. I'll just show you guys how it's done. So you can steal stuff when no one's around, because if they got caught, it's not really a good thing. Imprison Andre. Could you imagine if that's how Andre from the other series dies? We just take him in this series and kill him. Okay, see? We successfully swiped an object without drawing attention. The item can be found in our household inventory. So that's how you swipe things. Um, we can do more of that after. Because after you swipe something, you can't swipe anything else for a little while. Like, let me let me show you what this. See, you recently swiped an object, so you can't uh, you can't do it anymore. So we're gonna go back home now and get started on this dungeon, because I kind of wanna capture some people at the end of this. Or aliens. We could capture aliens as well. We could just kill aliens. Because I feel like that's not as bad as killing people. I mean, aliens have feelings. They're good human alien they're they're good people as well but like they're a little bit different i feel a little less bad killing aliens i don't know get veronica and him together we could date the two of us in the house that, that could be a thing let me know let me know what you guys think all right let's go down to the basement now how big should this dungeon be i don't know we could just make it huge and put like different different rooms in it um we could do that okay let's try here so we'll just kind of make it i mean we might as well make it all the way out right oh can we not do it oh we can't do it on the very outside all right well we're gonna make it pretty much as big as possible and then just have lots of different rooms in here okay good we can expand it a little bit more if we need so this is going to be the dungeon, and we could put different jail cells in it, have some really cool stuff in here, because I know that there are a lot of kind of criminal sorts of toys and electronic things. I also am going to be using a cheat which unlocks a bunch of stuff for us, so we don't have to, like, unlock items. We can just have them all and put them in here, so it's going to be a lot easier. It's going to be way easier than having to unlock everything. But let's, uh, let's, no, 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 not that one stair. We want a staircase. I, da, da, not that, not, not the wooden one. Um, oh, we could get, okay. Now let's put a staircase in. I think that the staircase we should put in so that it goes outside. Because we don't have much room inside our house. So we could put, so the staircase you enter from the outside. Because I don't really want to put it inside the house. As you can see, it's a small house. Not much room for that. But it can be like a secret dungeon which you go through from the outside. And we could put a little fence around here as well so that random people can't just go in our dungeon or something. Not that they would really want to. I mean, we could just trap them if they did. Um, so yeah, whoops, no, I want to go back to build mode. All right. So I think that the staircase is good there. What do you guys think? All right, this is a big, massive room. <laughs> I just realized how huge it was. Okay, so since I used the cheat that, okay, we're gonna need to use another cheat that unlocks things, but these are the walls from the jail, like the prison, the actual prison. So I'm thinking,
thinking that we should just make jail cells. Now, should we make one big jail cell or should we make multiple jail cells? Let me know what you guys think. I don't, I don't know. But let's start, we can start putting it across and then you guys can tell me if you want to just make like this as one big one or if we should divide it up into two or three. Let me know. It doesn't... I mean, if it's divided up, we could let some people go while we keep other people. Whereas if it's one big one, it's going to be kind of harder to divide it like that. But I mean... Either way, it'll work. So this is what we can use for the cell. We have actual, like, jail walls here. Okay, you guys are saying multiple. I think that multiple is a good idea. So let's take the jail cell tool again. The impen... What is this one? Okay. I think it was just... A is it the first one here? Yes, it's just this one. Okay, let's divide it up. Let's make them each, like, this... Uh, this wide. We'll make them like four units wide. They don't need massive jail cells. I mean, they're prisoners. They're not supposed to be super comfortable. It's totally fine. Okay. So the middle one is the biggest. And then we have two kind of on the sides, which are a little bit smaller. I think that's good. The middle one, we can put like more than one person. The sides, we could maybe stick to... Or we could have like a cell for aliens, a cell for a bunch of people, a cell... We there's so many options. There's so, so many things that we can do. Okay. Now, I'm going to put... Maybe I should delete... I'm going to delete one of each of these for now. I'll put them in the inventory, actually. I'm not going to delete them. But I'm going to do this because, obviously, we want the people to be able to go into the cells. And the jail doors, you actually can't open them at home. You can only, like, they're only functional at the prison. So we can leave these cells open right now since we don't have anyone in them. And then once we capture someone, we can get them to go into the cell and then close it. So I think that's pretty good for now. Let's get the floor a different color. Let's put some floor. Let's get some dark black, like, tile or something. Some really creepy looking floor. I mean, the rock one's pretty creepy looking. Oh, I, there's a really creepy looking walls. Where's the wall? It's like a wooden... Which one is the wall? There's like a really dark brick kind of wall. Is it one of these? Oh, it's this one. I feel like this is perfect for a dungeon. What do you guys think? I think that that's, like, good dungeon wall. Aliens and people? We can do that. We can capture some aliens, some people. I actually have a really cool device that I found that's really good for capturing aliens. So I will show you guys, uh, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, um, after. But let's get this dungeon built first. Now for a floor, let's just get, oh, can this one be black? Oh, oh, that looks creepy. Okay, this is good. It's like a cave. It is. This is a creepy old dungeon cave. All right. I think this is, I think it's looking good so far. So we've got the jail cells, which we will close off once we get people in them. Should we put anything inside, like a bed or, like there's jail beds, there's jail toilets. This is a cell towel rack. Do you think that we should give them a bed or a toilet or should we just make them sit in misery? Maybe we should put toilets inside each one because I don't really want to have to clean up their pee. So at least if we have a, a toilet here, they can pee in the cell and we're not going to have to clean it up. What do you, if, do you guys think that we should put a bed? We could put beds too. Let me know what you think in chat, but I think toilets would be good to start. Maybe beds too. There's some shelves, some benches as well. We could put a bench in and not a bed. Benches, toilets, no bed. Yes. Yes, a bed. It's pretty half and half for beds and benches. Okay. I'm just going to put a bench in then and not like a full on bed because they don't deserve the comfortableness of a bed. But I think that they deserve, like, something to sit down on. So we'll just put these benches in every one. 
So if they're super exhausted, they could kind of just sit down on the bench. But, I mean, they're not going to be able to have a nice sleep. Yeah, half of you guys are saying beds and half are saying no beds. Okay. I think this is a good plan. Toilets, benches, obviously no showers because that's way too luxurious. They don't need that kind of luxury in these jail cells. Um, but I think that's good for the cells. Let me know if you think that we should, like, what other things we should put in there. And I know, I think there's one more cheat to unlock some more things. I'm not sure which one isn't showing up here. Let me just see. There's a show hidden objects. Might be that one. Let me see. Because I know that there's, like, jail doors and stuff. And, okay, there we go. Wow, okay, this is definitely, so see, there are cell doors as well, which we could put on after they have been captured in there. So we could either just cover it up with an extra cell wall, or we can put a cell door on. Either one. But I think that this is good for now. Lights, okay, good idea. We'll put some lights in the cells. Now we want some creepy lighting. We're not going to be giving them some pretty lighting. Oh, Oh, do you know what we should have? Okay. These things are hover lamps. So let's put some hover lamps, like, just kind of between the cells. Not inside. These are for us because they look cool. They're not for the people in the cells. There's candles. Oh, we could put candles inside. Let's see if uh, there's other. Oh, that would be a good idea. Candles inside the cells because they're not, like, nice lights. They're kind of creepy. Can we just put these candles, like, on the floor? Okay, I think that this is a good idea. If we just had some candles sitting. We could put a couple, maybe, even. Our one candle thing's enough, actually. They don't need too many candles. They don't need that much light. They're fine. They're good. So we'll put some candles in each one. They're kind of pretty, actually. Okay, so they have some sort of light in there. All right. Let me know if you guys can think of anything else that would look cool in there. And I am going to show you guys some other things that we can put down here. Oh, okay. Well, we should get this. This is a portable galaxy light show. Now, it has nothing to do with capturing anything or anyone, but it looks pretty. So, I mean, we should get this for sure. Maybe we should put it on a table, though. Let's get some surfaces up in here. Should we get a countertop? Which is a creepy, a creepy looking countertop? I mean, this one looks kind of creepy looking. We can put a countertop along this side. This can be the counter wall area. There we go. And uh, let's go back to that lighting. Electronics. Oh, it doesn't want to go on a counter. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We'll just put it in the corner there. It's a really pretty light. I mean, there's no other real purpose for it, but it's pretty. A camera. Oh, we could put a camera. We could do that. We could put like a like a camera system down here to make sure everything's going well as well. Um, but these are these. Okay. I'm going to put some random things in right now and I'll explain and show you guys what they do when we're playing. So this is one of the random things. This is a satellite dish. I will explain. I will explain. I just found out a couple of these literally right before this. I was playing on my laptop and I discovered some really, really cool things. So we're going to put them in here. Um, what else? The x ray machine. You can't use the x ray machines unless you are an actual scientist or a doctor, I mean. So it's kind of useless for us. Um, let's check out some. Other items here, electronic things, okay. All right, electronics, appliances, what's under appliances? Should we put a fridge down here? A lice cold retail freezer? Old county mailbox out of, why are mailboxes with appliances? This is the most confusing. Okay, let's put a fridge down here, we'll put a fridge. We'll put this creepy looking fridge down here just in case we get hungry when we're killing people. Yeah, you guys are saying food. Should we put fridges inside the cells? Or should we just have the fridge for us? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, okay. Oh, 
A corporate fridge revenue generating cooler. Yeah, I don't think we need that. I don't I don't think that's necessary. Um oh we have a fountain of mirth. We could put some summer drink trays down in the dungeon. <laughs> I don't think that's totally appropriate. Let's just get a coffee machine here. We'll get some coffee just in case. Uh, oh, oh, that's that's weird. It doesn't go the. Okay, there we go. We'll get this coffee machine, except in black because we're mean people. All right. So the coffee machine. We've got a little fridge. Only you for the fridge. Okay. You guys for us. Okay, yeah. I think that the fridge should just be for us. We've got some coffee. If we did anything else, we can go upstairs. Like this is it. We don't need to live down here. We're not living in the dungeon. Don't worry. We're not gonna stay here forever. Okay, let's see. Activities and skills. Yes, here it is. An Electroflux wormhole generator. Now you guys will see what this is. It's very cool. Very, very cool. I think this, no, no, I don't wanna do that. This can be how we get some of our victims. It's gonna be through this wormhole generator. I'll show you guys what I mean. Let's see, is there anything, a cloning machine? I think that only scientists can use those. I mean, we can try. Let's just, should we just put it in and see? A cloning machine? I've never, I've never tried this out. Let's just put it there. We can see what it does. There's so many random things down here. A computer, yes. We'll make a little, we'll have a little desk area. Let's just put this sim ray up here just because. Oh, oh, do you know what else we need? And I found this. You can't even pick it up. Like, there's literally no purpose for it, but it looks creepy, and that is this knife. So we're going to put this knife here, and I just realized the cheat. That you can make it bigger. So we're going to have this massive dagger here, just right there on the counter. No reason. You can't use it, but it looks cool. So we're going to keep the knife there. We should have, like, a knife rack as well. Just like a huge, let's see here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a little bit terrifying. All right. Um, let's get a computer and desk and stuff as well. Computer. Okay, yeah. Make a room with one shower. We could make a bathroom for us down here. Do you think that that's a good idea? Let me know what you guys think. But that, that could work. A bathroom for us so that we can stay down here a little bit longer if we wanted to. Oh, look at this reconnaissance workspace. Definitely our kind of workspace. I think this is the same desk we have upstairs. So we'll stick with it. It's good. We'll get the swiveler chair, of course, because it is the best chair that we have. Um, now we need a computer. Oh, oh, oh. We didn't have this one unlocked in the last stream. Out of this world desktop. Be careful what you do on this computer. You never know who is watching you. All right, well, uh, thanks for that. We're gonna, oh my goodness, we're gonna get it. Should we get the white? The, let's get the black one. Stick to our black theme. Look at that computer. Oh boy. Okay, this is looking nice. Is this desk? Okay. That's good. Should we put anything else on the counters? What else do you guys think that we need? We could put a little bathroom, like just a little bathroom thing there. And we could move this generator over beside uh, the wormhole there. And put a little bathroom room there if you, guys, if you guys think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. We should have a little bathroom down here. Like not a full-size bathroom, but we can just have a little one. We'll grab a door. Oh, yeah, let's grab this black door. Very dungeon-looking. All right. Now we need a toilet and everything. And, yes, I will fix the... Oh, what is this? Oh, a public restroom. Yeah, we don't want that. Oh, my goodness, the critical throne? Sure, you know what? Let's put the critical throne in here. We have an unlimited supply of money, so, I mean... We're just going to do it. We're going to go for it. All right, let's grab a sink here. Let's just get this sink. Just a simple sink. And uh, could we fit a small shower here? If we can fit a shower. Oh, my goodness. Hygienic decontamination pod. Okay, I don't think we need one that hardcore. Let's just get the regular shower. Um, that one's a little much for us. 
Okay. There we go. I think that's a pretty good looking little bathroom there. Now we need some uh, lights in here as well because it's pitch black in there right now. Oh my goodness, look at all these lights. Is there a small ceiling lamp? Oh, this one. This is good. I love these little ceiling lights. Let's put a couple along here. We can put one over there, kind of by the workstation. We'll have another one over here. They're all really bright. These lights are very, very good. Okay. I think that's pretty good. What do you guys think? We could put one more light just in the middle here as well. Do you guys think we need anything else in the dungeon? Windows? Can we put windows in here? Because this is underground. Let me check. Let's see. Oh, let's put a mirror above the sink while we're here in the bathroom stuff. Um, what is this? Okay, sure. We'll do this mirror. Oh, that looks kind of creepy. It's like a really, a really creepy looking mirror down here. There we go. This is better. Can we put windows in here? I don't know. Let's see. I honestly have never tried to put windows underground before. Oh, you can! All right, well, let's put some small, do we have like chained over windows or something? Oh, here, these are the prison windows, yes! Okay, let's put some prison windows in the cells. We'll put like a window in each cell. <laughs> this is so mean. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see into the outside from here, but we're gonna do it anyways. Okay, we've got some prison windows in the cells. And then for us, we can just put, we can put like these sort of windows. Oh, that's too big. That is a huge window. What about this one? Oh, that one's huge too. Are there any small little, what about this? A stone one? Oh, that looks cool. That looks super, super, super cool. These stone windows. We could put it above the desk, one above the desk. One above this thing over here, and maybe one just, eh, one there. Oh, that's too tall. They're a little too big for that one. Okay, that's fine. What about these ones? Yeah, we're good for two windows. I don't even know if you can see from outside. Let's see if we can, I honestly think that it's just like to the underground, but they look cool. We're gonna do it. This is great. Okay, make the house really cute and sweet to give your victims a false sense of security. We should do that. Just have the upstairs like super cute, everything's fine. And then the downstairs is this like death dungeon. All right, what do you guys think of this so far? Let me know if we should put anything else in it. Um, give me suggestions in chat. And while you guys are leaving your suggestions, I'll just kind of show you what some of the stuff down here does. So I'll come down. I'm going to turn on these hover lamps. So I'm going to get my girl to come down. So these are these hover lamps. Nothing too fancy. Um, they make a sound. They're kind of cool. They're great. I like them. Can we turn these on? Light the candles. Do they not turn on? Are they just for added effect? What is this? Okay. Oh, maybe we have to have our lights on... Uh, the on all the oh maybe if I go in here do they turn on no they don't okay Can, we can't clone an object a valid item to copy must be placed onto the cloning machine <gasps> oh this is cool okay hold on cloning machine don't worry I've got something let's just take let's take this sculpture and just put it on the machine okay there we go let's see can we clone a human Cameras? Okay, you guys are saying cameras for down here. Let me just grab cameras real quick before we clone this. I know, I'm excited. This is exciting. Okay, we have these security cameras here. We can put a security system. We'll have one by the door and uh, maybe one over here kind of by the cells to make sure everything's going well. What is this? A digital camera? Oh, sure, we'll keep this on the counter, just in case we want to take some pictures. Whatever. All right. I want to see what this cloning machine does. Okay. Let's see here. Clone object. This is so cool. This is so, so, so cool. Is this actually going to work? Oh. I've never tried this before. Did it. Did it. Oh my goodness. 
I'm gonna speed this up. Looks like something did not quite- No! What are you talking about? Okay, we're trying this again. Okay, try again. Stop. Clone the object again. You can do this. We should just- This is a perfect way to make money. If this works, we could get, like, really expensive stuff and just clone it. Why aren't you working, you stupid cloning machine? Let's do this again. Come on. Clone the object here. Guess we'll put these blocks in the inventory. Oh! Oh, we did it! Oh my gosh, it works. <gasps> that is so cool. Okay, this is super, super, super cool. We'll put these objects in our inventory. So now we know that it works. We can clone things with that. Okay, so that's what that is. Let's go over here. We'll turn on this little galaxy light. That's all it is. It's just pretty. A skeleton down here. Do they have skeletons still? Or are the Halloween things gone? Skeleton keys? Oh, what is... Okay, that's, that's not skeleton. Where is the skeleton stuff here? Three framed skeleton keys? That's a decoration. I don't know if there's skeletons anymore. I think the Halloween uh, themed decorations are gone. But if you know if there's skeleton stuff, let me know. Because we could put some creepy looking decorations down here i would be all for that oh there there's cobwebs there's got to be skeletons then huh where are they skeleton okay it's just the skeleton keys showing up we'll see all right so that's the galaxy okay now i'll show you this thing this is super super cool okay she has to pee is she going pee okay she's going pee we'll let her go pee but this thing is so, so cool. What you do is you can literally control the neighborhood. So you can make everybody in the neighborhood angry. You can make everybody in the neighborhood pass out. You can make everybody happy. You can make everybody have a dance party. And you can make everybody pee their pants. So we can do... What should we do? Should we do bladder epidemic? Let's make angry town. I just want to show you. So if I control this, so see, it sends the signal up, and then it rains down its, its powerful situation. And look, everybody other than me, everyone in the neighborhood will be very angry. How cool is that? So, I, I love it. It is so cool. Okay. So maybe we should make everybody happy again. I don't want uh, Jason Bourne to be in an angry mood. Oh, no, wait, that was the knockout one. Oh, whatever. He'll go to sleep then. Veronica has activated knockout. Why are all the neighbors suddenly so tired? See, look. He's asleep. So we can control the neighborhood. So, 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 so cool. So cool. Okay. Now, this thing. Oh, candy. Can candy. I don't, you're not Candy Meadows. You're not our candy. So, uh, I'm just gonna ignore you for a second. Oh, I'll show you guys how we can teleport as well. Let's make a... Come on. Veronica, come down here. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Okay. So we're there. We're going to teleport here. Watch this. Once you get to wellness level 10... Look at her! You can teleport! Oh my goodness! Okay, okay. Then watch, watch, watch. Wait for it. How cool is that? And also, if I were to lock her in this cell, she can teleport out. So I can literally get out of, of any situation. If you put me in jail, that's fine. I'll just teleport out. We're good. No, don't be mean to Jason. You guys are supposed to be friends. All right, let's calibrate this uh, machine right here. Come on, Veronica. Come back down. Let's go. Where did you go? Come back. I'm not finished with you yet. Okay, so she's going to calibrate this machine, and then I'll show you guys what I was talking about when I said that there was something that uh, could make aliens come and make it really easy to get aliens. So, I oh, work for Veronica starts in about an hour. Okay, we don't have time to calibrate this completely. We're going to attempt alien contact. Okay, let's go. Come on. Yep. She's focused. She made contact with the aliens. Now, wait for it. Wait for it. We're going to try it again. Keep going. And we're going to test the alien environment. 
Okay. Are they upstairs? Where are the aliens? They should come! Where did they go? Oh, oh, maybe we have to put here, contact aliens. Okay. We're gonna contact the aliens with their- Okay, there we go. We're contacting the aliens. Come here! Come here! I wanna put you in my jail! I promise it's a nice jail! You're not gonna get hurt or anything! Oh, I need to go to work, too. We're gonna have to get Jason Bourne to take over this. Okay. So, Veronica's off to work. Jason! You gotta take over! Come on! Come back down here! We need these aliens! We're gonna attempt alien contact again! Veronica's off to work. Oh, Jason acquired the cooking skill. Wow, great. The skeleton is from the get to work. Okay, let's see if we can find the skeleton. Um, we're just gonna go to show all, and then I will do the packs, get to work. Where's the skeleton? Would it be under, probably under decorate? No, maybe not decorate. Oh, oh. Oh? Is the skeleton in here somewhere? Is it just like an actual skeleton? Where is he? Oh my goodness! <gasps> Look at those crystals! Oh my gosh! Oh wow! A smoking crater? Oh, this is cool! Okay, we're putting the smoking crater... Let's put him... <laughs> him. The smoking crater is a him now. We're gonna put him right there. Look at these crystals. We can put some crystals beside it. And some crystals on this side. This is just gonna be the coolest looking dungeon ever. Okay, we'll put the crystals on this side as well. Oh, what are these? Blutonium? Sure, we're just gonna have a little- Okay, I, I got sidetracked, I know. It's fine, we have this little crystal situation here now. There we go. That's all good. Oh my goodness, you can get plated crystals? There is so much stuff when you unlock everything. This is crazy. A pole of magnif- Oh, there's the skeleton! We got Skelly Sim! Okay, good. We got him. He is ours now. Hello, Skelly Sim. Welcome to our dungeon. Okay, I'm gonna put uh, this little thing a bit more in the corner there. There we go. All right, I like our little uh, crystal thing there. Okay. Can we turn this on? Oh no, we can just look. Look at that. So beautiful. All right, our dungeon's looking so nice. It's doing so beautifully. Okay, I want these aliens to come. Do they know that we're gonna, like, attack them? Just come to my house! I'm a nice person, I swear! Aliens? Aliens? No, you don't wanna come over? Alright. We should invite- oh. The agency realizes there's a mole in the organization. Veronica's not a suspect. In fact, she's chosen to head up the hunt. She should find a scapegoat to preserve her covert status, or should she pretend to come up empty-handed? What should she do? Let's just pretend to come up empty-handed. Veronica's bosses are satisfied with her findings. When you're a spy, you start to get suspicious as everyone. After all, her trust with the agency has never been higher. Okay, good. Good. We did well. What did you... What did you just bring your food down? Okay, sure. You can... What are you eating? Is that grilled cheese? Okay, sure. Have your grilled cheese there, Jason. You do you. All right. Should we get our first victim? Should we? Should we get our first person here? Let's see. Who do we know that we could invite? Okay. Well, clearly Jason doesn't know too many people. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take Jason out. He's gonna go to, uh, where should he go? He can go to the city somewhere. We're gonna make him go somewhere, meet some people, and then we can find someone that we want to abduct and take, take here. <gasps> oh, we could take one of the, one of the witches. I wouldn't feel too bad abducting a witch. Should we take a witch or an actual person? Let me know in chat. But uh, I'm going to take Jason Bourne over here. And uh, we're just going to go. We need to go somewhere popular. Is there? Mm, let's just go to this nightclub here. We're going to go to the nightclub. Meet lots of people. Get potential victims. And uh, let me know who you guys think should be our first uh, kidnapping victim. <laughs> we'll meet people. If you guys see a person that you want us to trap, 
let me know. I see some people saying candy. Do you guys really want to kill can- Sh But- We should kill candy. Okay. We're just gonna introduce ourselves to everyone here. There's gonna be tons of people. We're gonna introduce ourselves- Make as many friends as we possibly can. And then after, we're gonna go look at everybody that Jason knows. And you guys are gonna pick- who you think that we should abduct? This is horrible, I know. Is this Jade? Oh, that is! There's Jade from our other series! Honestly, not a huge fan of Jade. We should kind of kill her. Oh, you guys are saying the witch. Okay, so let's meet these people so that we have the options. And then we will go to the witch's house and uh, make friends with the witch. And then we can invite the witch over. If that's what you guys want to do. But, oh wow, we're meeting lots of people here. I'm just introducing myself to everyone. Hello, my name is Jason Bourne, and uh, I am a criminal for a living. That's what I do. Oh, he's getting tired. Here, let's, uh... See, this is the perks of being able to use cheats. We don't have to go home and go to sleep. You can just get better right here. But, uh, Veronica's home from work. She made $2,000. It pays well! Our jobs pay well. Okay, I think he's introduced himself to everyone here. He's just sitting down now talking, so... We can get Jason to go to the witch's house now. See, look at everyone he knows now. Okay, good. He's not gonna travel with anyone. He's gonna go by himself, go introduce himself to the witch, and then we're gonna go home, and you guys are going to pick who our first victim should be. Kill Jade? <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't want to kill Jade if- Because then we won't have her in our other series and Steve's gonna be heartbroken and he's gonna have to find some- That could be a story though. We could kill Jade and then Steve could go date Candy Meadows or something. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's a good idea though. Okay, is this witch home? Let's knock on the door. Very creepy house. Honestly, creepier than our dungeon. Um, so she would feel right at home in our dungeon. To be honest, I feel like she'd be good. Oh, wow. Okay. Hello, uh, Luna. Let me introduce myself. Oh, she has a knife up there. Oh, we can swipe some of her stuff. You could take medicine. Yeah, I don't really want to take your medicine. Okay. Her very creepy chairs. I kind of want one of her creepy chairs, but she'd see me if I tried to steal something here. Let's check the second floor. Does she have anything creepy looking? Well, everything's creepy looking in here. Let's be honest. She's got a little tiny bed. Uh, it's a children's bed. Oh my gosh, as you go higher up. This is a very confusing house. There's literally just a floating dresser. That's fine. And then the top here. And what's up here? Nothing, I don't think. Okay, let's go back to the bottom. Spooky, I kind of want to steal one of your chairs, but you're right here. So I'm going to have to... Let's chat outside, and then I will quickly run inside and steal one of her creepy chairs. Because that might look cool in our creepy basement. Okay. Sorry, Luna. I just gotta steal your chair really quick. Don't come inside. Okay. Good. We got our chair. Perfect. Alright. Now we can head home. Jason now knows the witch. So we could, uh, we could kidnap her. She could now be a victim. Love that creepy house. Me too. It is very witch-like. That is like the perfect witch house. If I were to like picture a house that a witch lived in, that would be it. Take Sophia. I like Sophia. I like Sophia. Sophia, if you guys don't know, is Sam's girlfriend in the other series. And she is so cute. And her and Sam are happy. Oh, I totally forgot though. She turned down Sam when he proposed to her. I still like her, but like... It was kind of a mean thing that she did there. It's kind of a mean thing. Um, <laughs> I don't really know why she did that. Okay, now let's look at uh, all of our potential victims. And you guys are going to tell me who we should take. So there's a lot. There's a lot. Um, Dawn. A different candy. We could abduct this candy. This isn't Candy Meadows. This is Candy Bear. So we can abduct Candy, um, there's all these guys, Jade, of course. I don't think we should kill Sam. Sam's a good kid. Um, there's the witch, Dustin with a big afro, Seth. Let me know. Let me know who you guys think that we should kill. 
I have a feeling some of you guys are probably going to say this candy. Kill all? Okay, I don't think we should kill everyone. I'm going to look at chat and see who you guys think that we should kill the most. Kill the Grim Reaper? I think he would just disappear. I don't think that's going to work. Candy? Fake candy? We could kill fake candy. That's an idea that could work. We could kill fake candy. We could kill the witch. Jade, the witch, all of them. Candy, witch, jade. <laughs> it's a mix between the witch, candy, and jade right now in chat. Candy, jade, the witch. Candy, the witch. Okay, you know what? Most of you guys are saying the witch and candy. So why not just invite both of them over? We're gonna invite uh, both of them for a little, uh, a little, just, a little friendly get-together. It's nothing too scary. They don't need to worry about it. Um, everything's gonna be totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Don't worry, Candy and Jade. Everyone's coming over. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So let's wait. Okay. We've got Candy. I'll invite her in, and uh, the witch should be coming. Oh, perfect. Right behind her. Okay. All right. So, we need both of them now to go downstairs. Let's put them in this big one. We're going to put them in the big prison dungeon, because uh, since it's two of them, I think that's going to be best. And uh, I'm going to call... Oh, it's too far to call them over. Okay, do you know what we're going to do to get everybody here? Very good idea. We're going to get a TV. We're going to put, I mean, we can sell it after, so it doesn't doesn't really matter. Let's just get this one for now. Maybe we need a wall. T okay, there we go. We'll get this TV. We're going to ask people to come down and watch a movie. See, we're going to watch a movie with, let's watch Sims of the Dead. This is very appropriate. All right. Oh, no. My girl likes candy. Jeez. Okay, well, this is the fake candy. This is fake candy. Remember? Fake candy. Not Candy Meadows. So, it's good. We're good. All right. We're going to ask them to come watch a movie. So, they should come downstairs. There we go. We got candy. And uh, where's Luna the witch? Is she coming? She's coming, too. All right. Okay. We've got them. Okay. Now, I'm going to, uh, sleeve. Just don't mind me. I'm just gonna go grab something to drink. It's fine. You guys stay there. Just watch the show. Enjoy yourselves. Um, nothing to be worried about. Nothing to be worried about. It's fine. All right. Now, we're gonna go to jail. Okay, we need to do the unlock cheat again. What was it? BB show hidden objects. There we go. We're going to get a door. Now, like I said, you can't open these doors um, unless you're using it in an actual prison. So don't worry. They're not going to be able to get out. They're just going to be staying there. Do not kill Candy Meadows. Don't worry. This isn't Candy Meadows. This is fake Candy. Her name is Candy Bear or something. Something like that. So we're not killing Candy Meadows. We like her. She's she's a day one. She's been supportive of everything we've done in this series. Both series. This criminal one, she's nice. We've met her. And uh, in the other series I do, she's always around. She's a very nice girl. So, uh... Okay! Hi, uh, Luna the Witch and uh, Candy. Make yourselves at home. You guys, uh, this is just, um... Don't, don't even worry about it. I'm sure Luna the Witch is very, very comfortable here. She's used to this. This is nothing new to her. Candy might be in a little bit of a shock right now, but it's fine. Yeah, see, Luna? Just, just... Oh, look at her. She's like, what is going on? Oh, she's smiling. She's happy. See, she's happy. She loves it. She's like, this is just like my house. This is good. All right, so they're just gonna chill there for a little bit. Um... We got Jason Bourne. What's he doing on the computer here? He's playing Blick Block. Jason, you're a criminal! You can't just play Blick Block. You gotta do illegal stuff. Let's see here. Can we... He... Is he not at the highest programming level? Okay, Jason, I don't even... 
<laughs> Andre just got back from the eye doctor. You can say hi. Do you like my dungeon? Do you like my dungeon? I built it. What is wrong with you? No, <laughs> and we've captured our first victim. It's Luna the Witch. Is that an elf? Oh, it's a witch. It's Luna the Witch. She, and we have she got it we have candy over. over. Yeah, we'll see. It's it's nice. We've got three. What? Am I trying to bring them food? Who is this? This is Veronica. Veronica's like rubbing it in their face that they can't eat in there. She's literally just eating. What is that? Pastry. She's eating pastry in front of them. Okay, Jason, you need to get off the computer. Because you don't know how to do stuff. We're gonna get Veronica on the computer. Oh, Miku! Hi! Miku, I wouldn't put you in here. Don't worry, you're safe. Miku wanted to give you this. You're not gonna. <laughs> Thank you, Miku. Thank you for the drink. <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> okay, she's eating her microwave pastry. Now, I think Veronica is better at programming. I think she can do cooler stuff. Maybe she can. Maybe you can't do it on this computer. Can't they only practice programming? Let's see here. Oh, maybe she, her programming isn't uh, isn't high enough yet. Okay, let's change that. She doesn't have the programming skill, so we're gonna give it to her. Skill level major programming 10. I think that's the one. Yes. Okay, we've now maxed her level programming skill. Miku's adorable. She is adorable. She's very, very cute. Okay, now we can hack stuff and do really cool things. We can hack the supercomputer. Let's do that. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Uh, let's hack the supercomputer, see what happens. Look at this computer at work. She's like doing some evil laugh. She's in her work outfit. This was her like criminal outfit. We should put some exercising equipment down here, too. We need our criminals to be in top shape. They need to be in top, top shape if they're going to be doing illegal stuff. Jason, what is wrong with you? Oh, you're focused? Okay, that's nice. Oh, you ate cold food and you have to pee? Well, don't even worry about it. I got you. Why do her and Jason not like each other? Guys! Be nice! What? Apologize! Stop being mean! The <laughs> the witch just said I should really get going now. I'll see you guys later. Well, uh, oh, and Candy said it too. You know what? You really can't get going. You, you can't, uh... I'm sorry, but that's not an option. You'll get going when I want you to get going. You can't just leave right now. Do you think that we should keep them there? Forever? Or should we release them? Let me know what you guys think. I'm still hacking the supercomputer here. They are now realizing that this isn't looking good. And uh, they're not... I don't think they're going to be getting out. Oh! I hacked the supercomputer and received $784. Look at us go. Wow. All right. We should get a punching bag down here. I saw someone say in chat that we need a punching bag. I think that's a good idea. Let's see here. What would that be under? Activities? Okay. Oh my goodness, what is this? Zero G training bag. All right, sure, we'll have this. This seems like a good idea. A zero G training bag? All right. Seems pretty cool. We'll just put it in the middle there. Let's see this punching bag. Okay. Let's practice punching. Come on, Veronica, you gotta get in good shape. Okay, you're, you're absolutely horrible at this. Like, you're actually awful. So you should probably practice a lot. Keep them, keep them forever till they die. <laughs> okay, so I guess um, we won't uh, let them leave. We can, we can keep them. All right. Yeah, you guys are all saying keep them. Okay, we'll keep them. All right. I want to try. I know a couple of you guys said, where is it? Under exercise here, because there's the yoga mat and there's also the meditation. Where is the meditation? Med meditation. Meditation stool. I think you can do something cool on the meditation stool. I'm not too sure, but I kind of wanted to check it out. I don't think that these things are meant for... Uh, Inside there though, we'll put them along the side of the house. We'll have a meditation stool and we'll put a yoga mat beside it There we go 
Okay. And uh, I want to try and see what you can do on here after. Oh, you can just meditate. I feel like you can do something cool, though. I thought that, like, you could levitate or something. Let's check it out. Okay, you're done punching, Veronica. Come upstairs. Let's go. Okay, can she levitate or is she just gonna, like, chill there? Rise! Maybe she can't levitate. Maybe she can only teleport. Oh, she can! Oh my gosh! Oh, wow. Okay, um... She is the most peaceful criminal you will ever meet. Very good, very good. Let them move in and then you can get their money. Good idea. Honestly, that's a pretty good idea. Can we ask them to move in from here? Let's see. Friendly. I don't know if we're uh, good enough friends with them yet. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna get Jason over here. Actually, I should get Veronica to do it because Veronica's good friends with Candy. So you're gonna stop levitating. Veronica is gonna teleport in here because I told you guys that uh, you can teleport inside these jail cells. I mean, these guys can't leave, but oh, look, we're here. Okay, perfect. Here, let me get her energy up too while we're at it. And her hygiene, we don't want her to smell. Okay. All right. See, so she can teleport in and out, but these guys can't leave. So I am going to talk to Candy. I'll ask Candy to move in. Let's see. She said okay! All right! No! No! If we leave the screen, I think she's going to escape. No! We'll have to put them back. It's fine. We'll put them back. Don't worry, guys. We, we got this. We'll put them back in. They're gonna stay there. They're not leaving. Okay. I don't think they're still gonna be in the cage. I think that if you... See? No! You guys can't just leave! Okay, fine. We're gonna kill them then. Oh, Luna's still in there. Okay, good. Luna's still here. Okay. So, let's make them go here. So, we're gonna get her to go there. And, uh, we're gonna get Candy to go there. All right. Okay, is she coming there too? Okay, good. All right, now I'm gonna quickly delete this door. This is so mean. Or I guess I'll just move the door there since we're gonna need it in a second. And I'm gonna get both of them to come in here. Okay, let's go. Come on. There we go. Very good. All right, I like that Luna stayed in there though. <laughs> Luna had the opportunity to escape, and she didn't take it. She's like, honestly, guys, this place is better than my house. I will stay here. This is good. Okay, there we go. We have the door back. We now have a, another uh, another little victim here. Her name... <gasps> Yuki! We're killing Yuki! Yuki! <laughs> <gasps> Candy, why did you have to have a roommate named Yuki? Come on! Okay, I'm sorry, Luna the Witch. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna have to uh, to go. Should we get Luna to move in too? Will we get her money if she moves in? Let's see, can we ask her to move in yet? No, we don't know her well enough. That's fine. We can use cheats anyways, so I mean, we don't really need the money. But now we have to, we have to kill Yuki too? This is so sad. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm out of there. I'm uh, leaving. It's been nice, but uh, I don't really want to stay in a jail cell. So uh, I'm going to go. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm done here. All right, I'm going to practice punching some more. She needs to be in really good shape. School for Yuki starts in about an hour. Um... Yeah, Yuki, I don't think you're gonna go to school. You guys are saying don't kill Yuki. I don't want to kill Yuki. Yuki was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. We should go to manage households, and then we can take Yuki out. You can kick her out and still have their money. Oh, can we? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna teleport back in here. Can we kick Yuki out? Come on. Let's teleport back in, see if we can kick Yuki out. Yuki, I'm trying to be nice. Don't worry. I don't want to kill you. You seem like a nice girl. Oh, I don't even know you yet. Let's uh, introduce ourselves to Yuki. 
Okay. Now let's see here. Is it under... I don't think it would be under friendly. No. It would probably be under mean? No, not mean. Actions? Is it under friendly? Not under friendly. I know that we can, like, alter the household and just get rid of Yuki. So I could do that after so that she doesn't have to die here as well. But let's just release Yuki for now. We're just going to, uh, let's pause this for a second. I don't want Luna to escape, though. So I'm going to pause for two seconds. I'm going to get Yuki to leave. So, okay, don't worry, Yuki. I'll get rid of the door for a second. I just don't want Luna going anywhere. Okay, Yuki, you're going to have to make a run for it. One, two, three. Three. Yuki, run! Run! Okay. <laughs> she didn't run at all. That was like the slowest uh, escape I've seen. There. We won't kill Yuki. Don't worry. But we're gonna kick her out of the households. We'll go to manage households and uh, get Yuki out. She can leave peacefully. Don't worry, Yuki. This isn't the end for you. Okay, I'm gonna teleport out now. I like Yuki. She seems nice. Maybe we should keep her. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, guys. I'm leaving. Yep, I just teleported. That's what happened. Uh, there we go. Alright. Let's see if the... Uh, let's calibrate this and see if the aliens want to interact with us yet. Keep Yuki? We could keep Yuki. Do you want to? Oh, Scratchy from an illness? Why are you sick? Oh, we need to order some medicine. Alright. We'll get on the computer upstairs and order medicine after we do this. We don't want to die here. Let's just get her hunger up. Why is it going up? Okay, we'll, we'll get her something to eat. Okay, let's attempt alien contact and see. Oh, oh. They're to- <gasps> We got an alien! Okay. All right. Now. Should we keep the alien for a little bit here? Sh should he be our friend? Okay, we're gonna chat over there. I'm gonna just, like, put him here for a minute while you guys think about if you want to keep the alien here or not. Oh, I mean, we don't- wait, I don't need to leave before I put the wall on. I keep forgetting that I can teleport. Okay. Okay. We're gonna put another jail door up here. They're not unlocked again. Here we go. Show hidden objects. Okay. We're gonna put a door. We need to get rid of one more of these. And then let's put the door there. There we go. You guys are saying yes to the alien? Okay. We could keep the alien here. Okay. Now we're gonna teleport out. I'm sorry, alien. I'm sorry, you seem like a nice person, but, like, we're criminals. We're the ones that aren't nice people. I mean, you seem nice. You seem, you seem cool, but, yeah. You guys are saying to adopt Yuki. Should we just keep Yuki? kind of like her, to be honest. She's really cute. She could be, like, the only nice person in the family. <laughs> keep the alien? Half of you guys are saying to keep the alien, and half of you are saying to not keep him. Okay, I need to order medicine real quick. We are not, uh, this is not going well. Okay, purchase medicine. Let's just get a couple bottles, just in case we get sick again. All right. Now, we're gonna take this medicine, see if that heals us. Okay, good. There we go. Perfect! We're healthy. Okay, now teleport out of there. You don't need to be in there anymore. Keep him. We can get secrets from the alien. We could. We could learn about his alien land. Um, we can learn all cool sorts of things. Maybe other aliens will come looking for him. And we can, like, capture all of the aliens. Keep Yuki? Okay, a lot of you guys are saying to keep Yuki. So, Yuki is gonna be a part of the household for now. Yuki! You need to go to school! Go! Come on! Okay, Yuki is off to school. Good. Oh, she has to go to the bathroom, too. Yuki, it's fine. I got you. No, I don't. Okay. Um, let's see here. Motive. Ladder. 
There we go. Now she's happy. Perfect. Candy has discovered that Tori is an alien. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's an alien, and he's right beside you. Oh, yeah, I forgot Candy's a part of our household. Oh, she's hungry. All right. So we have captured Candy. We've captured a witch. We've captured an alien. I like the variety that we have going here. Where do you find the jail doors? You have to enter two cheats to get the jail doors. You have to enter bb dot show hidden objects all one word and you also have to enter bb dot ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement so i'll type it out here so that you guys okay maybe it's not gonna let me type it out will it let me this is the second sheet bb dot ignore Gameplay unlock entitlement. I don't know if you guys can even see that. <laughs> um, but that's the second cheat there. And what those two cheats do is just unlock things that, I mean, obviously need unlocking. And then show objects that you wouldn't be able to have. Like the jail walls are supposed to only be available at the jail, not at home. So once you unlock them, just type in jail and they will be here. There's going to be jail doors and jail walls. So yes, that's how you do it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of our dungeon so far? I think it's pretty good. I think this is a very good start to our uh, criminal enterprise here. We've got our knives on the wall. She's eating something. Can we use this camera? I want to see this. Can we actually take pictures with this? No, we can't. It's just for decoration. That's fine. I'm eating some cereal. We've got our uh, our people held captive here. I like these little rocks. We have our, our way of making contact with the aliens too. And we can now control the neighborhood. You know what? Let's make everybody angry. No, let's, let's give it a dance party. I want to see what this does. Oh, wait. Oh, she can do it from in there. Okay, cool. Okay. I want to see if everybody's just going to start dancing. Oh my gosh! Everybody is dancing. Okay, well, that's what a dance party looks like. So that's cool. Make an alien army. We should make an alien army. All right, so we have got our, uh, oh, the teacher has run out to pick up his medication. So he asked the class to sit quietly and do their reading assignment while he's gone. Should Yuki do that or try to do some other homework while she has the chance? Do some homework, sure. The teacher is still not back by the end of class, so it doesn't matter that Yuki started her other homework first. She'll just do her reading at home later. Well, good for you, Yuki. Um, but we now have a basement dungeon down there. We didn't really change much. Oh, he's still having his dance party. Look at Jason Bourne. Stop being mean to Jason! Why are you guys mean to each other? Be nice! Apologize! Come on! Why are you so mean? Talk like normal humans. Okay, stop dancing, Jason. You need to stop. Okay. They just don't like each other, apparently. All right, I'm just gonna go take a bath. Okay, are we just still dancing? Come on, have a bath. Stop dancing, everybody. All right, but that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And uh, if you guys have any other tips, suggestions, anything like that for the next I uh, the next live stream, the next live stream, be sure to leave those in the comments after this live stream becomes a video. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have had an awesome day so far. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.